Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. What? Sorry, noisy motorcycle. So what I actually have here today is a backyard gardening kit. It's part of Jamaica's Grow What You Eat, Eat What You Grow campaign. Uh, this one seems to be put on um, <clears throat> by RADA, Rural Agricultural uh, let me look at this give me a second let me tell you the right thing so this is a kit in question and it actually stands for you can't see this clearly rural agricultural development authority and so in this particular backyard garden kit they actually do have uh, some interesting things here Let's see if i can get this focused which shows um callaloo what you, what Americans refer to as spinach, tomatoes, tomato, tomato, cabbage, among other things, I guess. I haven't opened this package yet. It is all sarin wrapped here with a with a tray, sarin wrap, tray it up and stuff. So let's cut it open and see what's inside. And of course, you have your I can't see utensils but instruments put the camera, put the camera down find a nice neat way to cut this put it open so you can see what's going on here there I did not make any form of preparation besides connecting with this particular knife so it's very important for me to mention that this particular product was um, provided free of cost by the government, or rather in this case. So, alright, let's this open. And now for the point of the disclaimer, is that I am in no way being how do you say influenced by oh this is nice so this is part of what's actually in the kit these units oh nice nice handles all right put this down so we give you everything here except water and sunlight Please ignore. Um, oops, it just dropped the GoPro. Yes, please ignore the noises in my background. There are cars reversing along the road. So, this now appears to be. I have no idea what the heck this is. Plant conditioner, healthy growth. Blah, blah 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 I clearly do not grow stuff I just throw things in the ground cover it up water it and we be good one to two tablespoons per gallon every seven to fourteen days okay this looks like some plant steroid stuff I'm gonna place this on hold for a little bit Put this down. All right, germinating mix. Just what we need. So it's, so it's three things that were actually in the packaging here: cabbage, yeah. cabbage, tomato, and callaloo. Let's see if I can neatly pull these pull this apart without destroying anything. germinating mix a fancy term for I guess medicated soil
Oh, okay, that has been punctured. I'm trying to do this without creating an even bigger mess. So here there are no instructions in any way, shape or form for this. So it, it's the same general formula. Pour some dirt through a hole in the ground. <coughs> yeah. Pour some dirt through a hole in the ground and bobs. I mean pour some dirt, drop seed, seedlings in and yeah, so the instructions are here. You can read this for cabbage, you can read this for tomatoes, and you can read this for cabo. Let me try to see if I can do this neatly. Oh, this is, this feels a bit on the embarrassing side as I'm so clumsy with this right now because I have not rehearsed this in any way, shape, or form. I had actually no idea what is inside the packaging. So with the um, with this radar pro promotion, what happens is that they simply take your name, 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 house address, email address, and contact number, and with that in mind, what happens? is that they would i guess i'm guessing that they would contact you at some point just to find out how the planting process is going so because i don't so for today we would not be using these in any way shape or form yeah so this would be for a later episode we need to transplant something so what i'll do i will uh, lay out the soil first and then Yeah, I'll lay out the soil. So, give me a sec while I go take all of this, all of this to the back. Alright, so here we are to the back. So you can make sure we never see it back. So, in the aft portion of the right again let's plant something here So I have my trusty, um, trusty what you call it, spoon. This should have been from. You know what? Easier method of doing this. I 
Let's start with cabbage. Let's divide this thing up in thirds. And so for those of you who don't know, this is what cabbage seeds cabbage seeds look like. I didn't know about that, didn't know this until today. Sorry, we have some birds in my area. Okay, this is getting annoying now. Alright. Alright, so I won't comment on this in terms of um, percentage yield and all those fancy terms and formulas. Okay, so this is what Calalo looks like. I didn't know that to be had though. so ridiculous to find that this looks like a caviar thing That. Make sure everything went somewhere. Now here we reach the top of the crop tomato. Alright, I guess it says that appropriate tomato color that we all know and the seeds look more familiar. Good. So I'll stuff this in the middle. Now. Right now it's the berry. Let's back up. I 
to hear a lot of you in the comments saying that I'm clearly doing this wrong. Like and subscribe. I'm filling these up to the top on the basis that when we water them, the volume of soil is going to pour through the holes in the bottom. That appears to be the norm. Oh, for those of you who are wondering, this fruit, this spoon is a tutti frutti spoon. We're gonna have to go down the road and buy some more germinating mix. So here's the other part that we were talking about before as it relates to uh, this shows um, the nutrients um, nutrients here and the, I guess they're missing the various ratios that they actually go in and it shows trace elements and all these things two to six pounds da, 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 da. One to two tablespoons per gallon. Okay. So that would. So 
simply put take this just dump it in some of that water over there and use it so let's do exactly that For those of you who are wondering, this thing is, this stuff is blue in color, so that's what it looks like. Just juice up our plants a little bit, watering container. Set this at tubes and have a water it. It's a good shape. Spread this. Yeah, I should have spread this. So my Start the pants too much. Alright, so leave this to dry off or drain in this case and in a few days we will yeah. yeah so what will happen is that I'll actually leave this to dry off here and in a few days I'll be able to give you an update as to what's going on with these plants if anything has possibly sprouted in a few weeks so until then, like and subscribe for more stuff. Oh, and we're, here we are in the process of dealing with pineapples. One pineapple here, which has sprouted up in this container. We will need to take it out of the container and actually plant it in something. And also, it's been so long, I don't even remember what this is, but it's 
gotta be something. I remember these were some some fruits or the other. Like every time I get a fruit seed, I just um, put it in here and hope for the best that it springs up into something. But it's been so long I don't remember what this was. But this is one project. This is another project. These two here are not supposed to be related. But I just didn't label because I didn't label them. I don't remember what they are exactly. So I'll just have to fertilize them and watch them grow into something. Oh, that's another pineapple there. That's another pineapple. That's another pineapple. There you have pineapples. They're just not sprouting up into anything at the moment. So let's go on, wait, and watch it. So until then, continue liking, subscribing, and just watching. At least that's the least you can do. So until then, have a good one.